Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Development Training with Low Code No Code Development Environment on anubavtrainings.com. In our last session, we talked about how to import and publish a SAP build process in the cloud and how to import that in build apps for the integration purpose. Then using the action flow to trigger the build process and test the flow end to end. In our today's session, we are going to proceed further. And since we have got a basic logical closure of our application, we are going to deploy this application to the cloud. So basically our application is currently running on the on the local mode where we are able to test the application in mobile phone by scanning the barcode or using the web application preview. But in order to deliver this app, it has to be seamlessly integrated with build work zone. So you will learn how to publish an application by creating a build and then deploying the application to the SAP BTP account. Once the application is deployed, where can you check the application URL? Furthermore, how do you configure a build work zone site by creating a functional catalog and a group? We will then assign the application to this catalog and the group and also grant our user the necessary role to access this application. So the application will be centrally integrated with build work zone on the work zone site. Having said that, let's get started and see this in action. And we already created a site earlier. So now we go to something called channel manager. And here we have to first click on refresh button because as I told you, all the applications build apps application which you build and create and deploy they get deployed in the html5 repository so the build uh, work zone has to know the latest information about all the apps so step number one you have to come back in the channel manager and refresh your html5 apps which are there inside the repository so you can see it's updated now next step is to go to content manager go to content explorer and html5 apps in the explorer option i click on that and you can see all our applications which we built as part of our training but now look at that build 276796 right so that is exactly my app which is now come here superb yeah awesome so i add the shopping cart app click on add button it's added and now let's go back to content manager and we will go to user group which we created earlier where we integrated our my inbox app so we'll add this app which is shopping cart in the user group only so i go inside click on edit and you see shopping cart switch on save come back go to our catalog which we created earlier my catalog edit switch on shopping cart save and finally grant the everyone role also so we come at the very bottom to the everyone role and edit only when you edit then you see the app otherwise you will not see the app right so please click and edit button first and then switch on and save fabulous so now the app is fully integrated with the user group and the catalog so now let's go back to site directory and launch our site this is the central entry point for all the business application for our end user and you can see wahala we have got ya our shopping cart application when user click on that it is going to load the application so this is how we can fully integrate our end to end application after deploying it to sap build so we deploy the application to sap build and get this whole thing integrated Thank you.